with Philippine Airlines, the country's flag carrier. The airline that lets you feel the warmth of the nation. Mabuhay. Usa ka pagtuo. Usa ka tingog. Usa ka katawhan. Cebu Catholic Television Network. Network. Live, Gikan sa MTV CCTN News Center. Kini ang balita sa alas 12. Uluhan sa mga balita sa alas 12. Mayor Jonas Cortez sa Mandawi, Madili, Gihapon, Papamaligya o Pabuto, Diha sa Yang Siyudad. Papanunsyo to the Philippines, Mutambong sa Lansheng sa Kakinyentos Katuig ng Kristyanismo sa Nasod. Si Dennis Tabar, kauban sa News Ang Puwersa sa CCTN News Team. Kami matutod kaninyo sa mga balita sa alas 12. Karoon sa detalye sa atong mga balita. Diligyapon itugot ni Mandawi City Mayor Jonas Cortez ang papamaligya o mga pabuto sa pagsugat sa bagong tuig. At sa Simana sa Pasko, huwag nabantayan sa syudad nga doon ay mga namaligya o mga pabuto sa ilang mga monitoring hinundan nga huwag naangol at sa pagsugat sa Pasko. Matod sa mayor nga kung tugutan sa syudad ang papamaligya o pabuto, lisod kini nga i-regulate busa ang pagban mao labing maayong nga lakang. Giawag ni Cortez ang mandawihanon nga di lang sugaton o pabuto ang bagong tuig. Inay maayong buhak ang isugat. Matod niya nga ang pagpalit o pabutog o sikusik lang sa kwarta. Mayingon si Cortez nga maayong nga gamiton ang kwarta nga alang unta sa pabuto, ihatag na lang ngadto sa mas labing nang inahanglan. Resolusyon sa pag-establisar o gabion dam subay sa mga sapa sa dakbayan sa Mandawin na pasar sa konsiyo. Samtang mga pamilya nga napiktuhan sa baha ni Atog Buwan sa Oktubre, gihatagan o financial nga ayuda sa syudad. Ang kasayuran ihatod ni Merero Sagarino. Ni Adtong Buwan sa Oktubre na kasinati o grabing pagbaha ang syudad sa Mandawi nga nakaapekto sa libuan ka mga pamilya. Subay ni ini ang konseho ni Pasar sa resolusyon ni Consul Carmelino Delmar Jr. pag-establisar og mga gabion dam subay sa butuan og mahiga nga mga sapa aron sa pagsaos sa tubig gikan sa bukid inig-uwan nga dili mudiretso sa mga sapa hinungdan sa pagbaha. Mutang control pero mo lagi ang kanimo og mga building bitaw nga motoko do nya kinanglad yun inspeksyon nang yun pagayo kay iun na gyud ra mo giubad nga maguna building nga wahi ang ilang drainage dito. Uh -huh. Una ba ito na ito, every infra nga buhat ito, every project, una ako din na ito drainage. Uh -huh. Kaya naman ko yung upang paliba, una ako ng building nga wahi ng drainage. Uh -huh. Ngayon na ng building, kabuno na sa city. Uh -huh. Nga na bitaw? Sa so, so, ubo na, bayas nyo? Unsa? Oo, oh, ang ubo na, kaya ba ang ubo na? Nga uh -huh. iyon na, 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 murag na corrected naman kay tingali nila, murag gitanan ron nga, gitukod nga buildings, murag nila naman ipauna kita drainage bitaw. Makahinumduman nga dugay na usab gi plano ang pagama og mga gabion dams ni Mayor Jonas Cortez aron masulbad ang pagbaha sa dakbayan. Gani ka ganin ang buntag ang libuan ka mga pamilya nga naapektuhan sa pagbaha ni atong buwan sa Oktubre ang gihatagan og pinansyal nga ayuda nga tag usa ka libo piso sa lokal nga gobyerno. Tanang naapektuhan nga pamilya sa dakbayan ni atong pagbaha ang nakadawat sa maong ayuda. Pinakadaghan ang anaa sa 6.5 lot sa barangay Paknaan nga adunay 3600 ka pamilya. Oktubre. Oktubre. Oh, mga Oktubre. Ay, kuan man to kaduha duha kay gayon nga uh, nagbaha di region nga mura grabe gyud tong pagkabaha asad nagdungan ang high tide ug ang kusog kayo nga kanang bulog sa tubig motong uh, niawas ang sapa Matod ni Kapitan Malak Soko sa Barangay Paknaan, nagipanghatagan na usab ang maong mga pamilya o relief goods sa Department of Social Welfare and Development, kung DSWD, ingon man sa mga non-government organizations, gilayon paghuman sa insidente. Mary Rose Sagarino, CCTN News. 
Si Archbishop Jose Palma ni konfirmar nga motambong ang papal nonsyo to the Philippines si Archbishop Charles John Brown sa imoon unya nga launching sa kasaulogan sa ika-500 ka tuig sa Kristiyanismo. Dini sa nasod ang arsobispo nagigalayo na sa IETF kalabot ni ini. Ang kasayuran ni hatod ni Patch Anthony Inzo. Di kumpirmar ni Cebu Archbishop Jose Palma nga motambong sa launching sa kasaulugan sa 500 Years of Christianity ang papalnunsyo din sa Pilipinas nga si Archbishop Charles Jan Brown. Kini magitugan ni Palma din suma niya nga himoon ang launching karong Abril 14, 2021. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He promised that. Okay. Sumasar sa bispo, nakigalayon na sila sa Interagency Task Force kung ATF alang sa ipatuman nga siguridad at tulsa mga kalihukan hila binabatok sa coronavirus disease 2019 kong COVID-19. Apil o sab nga ilang tutukan mao ang paglimita sa mga tao nga mutambong sa mga kalihukan. Because of COVID, uh, the IATF restriction, restriction huh? because we prepared for the activities and yet how many can attend? It depends on them. Uh, we are prepared for cultural representation. How many can participate? It depends on them. We are prepared for the procession and, uh -huh. and, uh, the, and the mass. Uh, but, but particularly the number uh, depends on IETF and the LG. You know? so basically, that's the main consideration because we can prepare you know, to the best of our ability, but because of COVID, there are restrictions that's beyond our control. Ang sayurad nga si Brown ang itudlo is ipapalnunsyo din sa Pilipinas ni Pope Francis na itong September 28 so karong tuiga. Sa kasamtangan ang papalnunsyo ang atuan ni Star sa Tath Avenue dito sa Kauluhan. Fatch Anthony Inso CC Tianus 200 ka mga pilgrim images sa Our Lady of Fatima o Senior Santo Nino Giblisingan ni Cebu Archbishop Jose Palma ang mao mga imahen gamiton sa mga lay missionaries alang sa ilang special nga misyon. Ang kasayuran ni hatod ni Patch Anthony Inso. Giblisingan ni Cebu Archbishop Jose Palma ang moabot sa 200 ka mga pilgrim images sa Our Lady of Fatima o Senior Santo Nino kagahapon sa hapon dito sa Archbishop Palace Chapel. Ang maong kalihukan kabahin sa maabot nga kasaulugan sa 500 Years of Christianity sa Sanod Gatuig. Din ang maong mga imahen dadon kini sa mga pamilya nga sakop sa Alliance of the Holy Family International kon AHFI alang sa Osaka Special nga misyon nga mao ang pag-evangelize o pag-catechize sa mga tao lukob kalibutan. Ang AHFI o saka lay organization din sa Sugbo, ganatoko din itong 1991 o ba ni Anhing Ricardo Cardinal Vidal. They're doing evangelization to many parts of the world. Okay. And wherever they go, they will bring the images. And uh, as expected, they might they, are, they plan to live like an image no, to whichever like diocese no, that will welcome them or church no, as a sign of and, you know, of course, uh, evangelization, uh, and that's what we plan. target sa AHFI nga ma-evangelize ang tanang 195 ka mga kanasuran. Diin sa kasamtangan mo abot na sa 60 ka mga nasud ang ilang naabot. They will, they know, as I will mention, they will like they will catechize the people, especially they gather in the church. Na. Uh -huh. They will preach in the church na, about Mama Mary, about Santo Nino, and after that they will leave an image there as a sign of the Suma ni Palma nga tinguha niya nga may empower ang AHFI missionaries. Isip siya mo'y kasamtangan ni Chairman sa 500-year anniversary celebration of Christianity din sa Pilipinas o Asia o Chairman sa Bishop's Advisor sa maunga grupo. Fatch Anthony Inso, CC Tianus. Update sa COVID-19 sa Central Visayas, ang kaso sa Dakbayan sa Sugbo kagahapok at lawan, this is size din sa Dakbayan. Kini base sa report sa Department of Health. Samtan, Dakbayan sa Mandawi, Usa, Lapu-Lapu City, Duha, Lalawigan sa Sugbo, Unse, Negros Oriental, Tulo, Way Bagong Kaso sa Lalawigan sa Sikihor, Apan Siam sa Lalawigan sa Buhol. Sa kinatibukan, ang Central Visayas, adunay 42 kabagong kaso kagahapong at lawa. Ang karaan nga Muilios Minya Marker nga nahimutang sa barangay poblasyon Dakbayan sa Lapu-Lapu ipatarong sa kagamanan sa dihang nga gitambaka na og basura 
o gagitabil-tabila na lang kay gihimong pinayanan sa mga libod suroy. Ang Williams Minya, usa ka historical attraction sa Lapu-Lapu, nga ginama sa Coral Stone o gaganlan kini ni kanhi Presidente Sergio Osminia Sr. Di nahimutang ang terminal sa ferry boat nga gikan o paingon sa Minlan, Cebu. Si Mayor Junard Ahong Chan sa iyang bahin maningkamot nga mabalik sa orihinal na kahimtang o gitsura ang parula sa Muli Osminia. Di ay makikalayon ang syudad sa Department of Tourism, Cebu Port Authority, ingon man sa National Historical Commission. sa alas 12 sa ngan sa tanang kaubanan sa CCTA News and Current Affairs ako si Dennis Tabar atangi ang atong Sari Corinta Isyate karong alas 5 sa hapon hangtod na sa alas 6 sa gabi up next ang Santos nga Misa Manukad Live sa CCTA in Chapel Daghang Salamat coverage of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Padillo and family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and family, Dr. Jean Rafanan and family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene Adnanit Avila and family, Mr. and Mrs. Lorenzo Bok and family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and family.
are now on the sixth day of the octave of Christmas. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Dear sisters and brothers, let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have, mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that the newness of the nativity in the flesh of your only begotten Son may set us free. For her ancient servitude holds us bound beneath the yoke of sin. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. John. I am writing to you, children, because your sins have been forgiven for his name's sake. I am writing to you, fathers, because you know him who is from the beginning. I am writing to you, young men, because you have conquered the evil one. I write to you, children, because you know the Father. I write to you, fathers, because you know him who is from the beginning. I write to you, young men, because you are strong, and the word of God remains in you, and you have conquered the evil one. Do not love the world, or the things of the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, sensual lust, enticement for the eyes, and a pretentious life is not from the Father, but is from the world. Yet the world and its enticement are passing away. But whoever does the will of God 
remains forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Give to the Lord you families of nations give to the Lord glory and praise give to the Lord the glory to his name let the heavens be Unhampter his court. Worship the Lord in holy attire. Tremble before him. Oh, dear. Among the nations, the Lord is King. He has made the world firm, not to be moved. He governs the peoples with equity. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. There was a prophetess, Anna, the daughter of Phanuel of the tribe of Asher. She was advanced in years, having lived seven years with her husband after her marriage, and then as a widow until she was 84. She never left the temple, but worshipped night and day with fasting and prayer. And coming forward at that very time, she gave thanks to God and spoke about the child to all who were awaiting the redemption of Jerusalem. When they had fulfilled all the prescriptions of the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee, 
to their own town of Nazareth. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Bulahang Adlaw o Bulahang Pasko, karatong tanan. As we are nearing the, the end or the final stage of the octave of Christmas, which actually is an eight-day extension of the celebration, we are continuously challenged to reflect in as much as the gospel reading today is concerned about how people during those times when the Lord, at the, during the birth of the Lord, there were also people waiting. And the very context of our gospel reading is actually the presentation of the child Jesus in the temple. After Simon recognized and acknowledged the Messiah representing the men section, there is also the representative of the women, and this is the prophetess Anna. Now, the name of Anna is very significant in this context because Anna is the same as Hannah, which means actually graciousness. Practically the same root of, from the word, the, the name of John, Yohanan, that the Lord is gracious. And so it here is presented by Luke, a very significant section that when, when Anna recognized the Messiah, she kept on talking about him. She kept on telling to many people, to those who were also waiting for the salvation of Jerusalem and for the salvation of Israel. So she is a representation of that kind of attitude that continues to proclaim the message of salvation. And here in this context, we take into perspective the reaction of the Blessed Virgin Mary after Simeon said something about the child Jesus, that Mary kept everything in her heart. And so here we are presented with two particular pictures or angles of our response to the coming of the Lord in our lives, not only during Christmas, but all the days of our life, that there is a moment of silence reflection, pondering, meditation, represented by Mary. And on the other hand, there is the side and perspective represented by the prophetess Anna to speak about what we have experienced, what the, how the Lord has touched our lives. And so this is a very significant point wherein we come into contact with the realities in our lives, that there are sometimes moments that we have to be silent, reflect, and keep everything in our heart. But there are also times that we are asked, that we are exhorted, that we are encouraged to speak about the good things that the Lord has done in our lives. And these two aspects or dimensions always happen every time we gather as a community and even in our regular chit-chats outside the Christian celebration of the liturgy in our daily lives. And so with this, with these beautiful pictures that we are presented today, we embrace, because this is the proper response of Christians. There is a moment of silence and prayer, and then there is also a moment of proclamation and exaltation. And we have to embrace these two aspects, to put them into our hearts. And if the heart has two sides, one of it is the moment of silence, one of it is the moment of proclamation. And that's the heart of our faith. Amen. The prophetess Anna offered her whole life in the Lord's service and never grew tired of worshiping God day and night. Let us now offer to the Father our own prayers as we say, 
God of all our hopes, hear our prayer. God of all our hopes, hear our prayer. That the church may be able to offer to God a fitting worship and be faithful in bringing to God the needs of the people in prayer. Let us pray to the Lord. God, that government leaders may be able to render quality services to their constituents for the love of God. Let us pray to the Lord. that those called to the ministries of the church may serve God with willing and blameless hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. God of our hopes, hear our prayer. That the sick and those who are persecuted may offer to God their trials and sacrifices as a fitting worship. Let us pray to the Lord. God of all our hopes, hear our prayer. That the dead may join the saints and the angels in the heavenly worship. Let us pray to the Lord. God of all our hopes, hear our prayer. God of our Father, you have made us for yourself. Help us to give you fitting honor by the lives we live. We ask this to the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, dear sisters and brothers, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift him up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind, so that as we recognize in him God made visible, we may be caught up through him in love of things invisible, 
and so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. For as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, with Midifil, his assistant bishop, all bishops and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's now share with each other the sign of peace. peace Shalom. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am, Lord, I am not, not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. O oh my God, my only hope, I have placed all my trust in you, and I know I shall not be disappointed.
let us pray. O God, who touch us through our partaking of your sacrament, work, we pray, the effects of its power in our hearts, that we may be made fit to receive your gift through this very gift itself, through Christ our Lord. Puracho Imperata, God of our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from all our fears. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection. O most holy Mother of God, do not despise our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Señor Santo Nino, Our Lady of Guadalupe, Our Lady Health of the Sick, Saint Joseph, Saint Raphael the Archangel, San Roque, San Lorenzo Ruiz, San Pedro Calungsod, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Now bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the God of infinite goodness, who by the incarnation of his Son has driven darkness from the world, and by that glorious birth has illumined this most holy day, drive far from you the darkness of vice and illumine your hearts with the light of virtue. Amen. Amen. May God, who willed that the great joy of his Son's saving birth be announced to shepherds by the angel, Fill your minds with the gladness he gives and make you heralds of his gospel. Amen. And may God, who by the incarnation brought together the earthly and heavenly realm, fill you with the gift of his peace and favor and make you sharers with the church in heaven. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down to on you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Holy Eucharist has been offered Go in peace. Thanks be to God. of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicholas Padillo and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and Family, Dr. Jean Rafanan and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene Adnanit Avila and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Lorenzo Bok and Family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and Family. Discover the beauty of the Philippines 